Now, with this crisis, the economic crisis, whether that is a crisis that took a long time to develop and is uh, there since a long time, but people woke up now to this crisis and we decided we want to do something. But really, except for many newsletters, I felt there was not uh, the reaction there that we had at the time of, uh, of the India social war. And uh, I guess one of the points that, uh, at this stage is that if there ha is a way, and I guess that was a feeling of it uh, uh, with all the people, that we're not really interacting anymore with the reality, that was as well very interesting when I was just in South America, where people are changing the world now. We're 10 years further and people are changing the world. <coughs> and in Ecuador and in Venezuela, people are telling me, we don't want this whole social forum anymore. And people from Ecuador and from Venezuela, for example, are not here anymore. But they are in the uh, social forum of the Americas. But we had this great experience of uh, uh, the US social forum. And at that stage, I feel that uh, we have one thing that is the World Social Forum, and the World Social Forum, the big global event. And at the other hand, you have the regional social forums, you have the US social forum, you have the American social forum. And I guess there is a question as well of uh, uh, the World Social Forum hasn't been able to develop as such, while the young, the younger experiences are actually still giving people the power to do something, and it is really an empowering experience. So really, the question is. Are the, world social for, uh, are the social forums, the thematic social forums, the regional social forums, the world social forum able to develop in the years? Or might it be that the world social for, the social forum methodology, wherever it is, after five years, after 10 years, is not able to develop anymore? And we need to move to other sections. And uh, one of the uh, key things here is that uh, can we at this point think of uh, a world social forum as a space? I mean, many people here have been talking that the world social forum is not only the world social forum, but the regional things. So is it really a space? Is it not many spaces that we need to think about? And what is the role then of all the people that are sitting here that are in the IC and uh, that are building up uh, these Central World Social Forum events. One of the issues that we have been raising, and I guess uh, has been raised uh, quite a bit, is the question about the IC in itself. Is the IC able to actually, is the IC itself the problem? Is the International Council the problem? I mean, I came to the World Social Forum and the IC when we had the idea of changing the whole International Council. Over the years, this whole project has been abandoned completely. But over the years, we had new processes coming up. We have uh, South America, we have now Egypt, we have the struggles in Greece, in France, and so on. But we don't have these actors in BIC because we're not changing in BIC. So is the fact that we're not changing in the International Council as well the reason why we're not changing the methodology when you say we have a problem of changing, of creating new methodologies and new strategies, is that as well the problem? So uh, I guess a few questions uh, that I would put to the speakers that were here is, uh, do we really think the World Social Forum is one space? Can we think of the World Social Forum as many spaces? And in that, and it's a spaces that come up and can die again. We can have a thematic world, a world social, uh, so thematic social forum. We can have a regional social, for, social forum that comes up and can die again, but the process continues. And can we think of the World Social Forum as something that in its overall structure then, what is the IC then? Can we really decentralize this world social forum in a way? Or can we change the IC to 
to respond more to what's actually going on on the ground. So that if we have actors on the ground struggling, and I don't think they need necessarily to be radical, but they need to be struggling, that we actually can invite them. Because what my problem was in 2003, it took me like six months to understand that there was an IC organizing the role of support before we could even apply to be part of the IC. And that is exactly the same situation today. If we can decentralize, if we can as well decide that we're not going to be the International Council Cupola, but to decentralize into thematic forums with their organizing, regional forums with their organizing, can that be a way to create a new for uh, to create a methodology and a way of working where we can respond easier to the issues? And I guess the last thing is uh, the methodology that we are uh, that we're using. We are all talking that this methodology is a new thing. It was overcoming uh, the party structure. Are we really thinking that it or you were saying that? Are we really thinking it can overcome the party structure? Or can what kind of ways do we need to find to actually interact with those party, parties and party structures that are still existing and that are having a place in South America, that are having a place in Egypt, that are having a place in the other places? What is the role? I think that is uh, something we need to discuss as well um, in that structure. I think this opened up the other issues.